Good evening, I'm Natalie Shepard. And I'm Tan Trong in for Karen Swenson. Tonight, a new Army Corps of Engineers rating system has labeled the New Orleans area levy system high risk. But that may not be as bad as it sounds. Paul Murphy joins us live to explain. Hi, Paul. Hi, Natalie. Tan, that high risk label does sound pretty ominous, but Army Corps officials did give the levies and the overall flood protection system here in our area pretty high marks. Still, they warn there are some major risk factors in South Louisiana that threaten even the strongest levee system in the country. Tim Neal walks along the Mississippi River at the fly in uptown New Orleans every day. He says you just have to trust that the Army Corps of Engineers built the levees strong enough and high enough to protect the city from high water. I always heard if the, if, if the river floods, then goodbye New Orleans. Billions of dollars have been spent since Hurricane Katrina to upgrade the ring of levees, flood walls, and pumping stations designed to protect the New Orleans region from another catastrophic storm. But according to the Army Corps' line. new Levee Safety Action Risk Classification, known as LSAC, the vastly improved hurricane protection system still received a high-risk designation. Army Corps District Commander Colonel Michael Clancy said the levees are in great shape, but we still face high risk. As good as our system is, and it's the best in the country, there's still risk to floodings. LSAC looks at factors like the probability of a flood event, the current state of the levee system, and how many people would be impacted if the system failed. A high-risk rating is the second most dire of six classifications, which range from very high to no verdict. Flood Protection Authority COO Derek Bays. The fact is we do live on the Gulf Coast. We are in an area that is prone to hurricanes and storm surge, and we can't escape that. We also protect um, positively you know, hundreds of thousands of people and billions of dollars of infrastructure. Back at the fly, Tim Neal admits living with a risk of flooding is part of living in New Orleans. You got to hope it's all going to work, but no, I, uh, I feel like if not in my lifetime, yeah, it'll be, it'll be something happening again down here within the next 50 years for sure. High risk Army Corps officials are urging everyone in South Louisiana to get flood insurance whether you live in a flood zone or not. We're live in the French Quarter, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. All right, Paul, that's good advice, but how can people learn more about those levy risk characteristics, risk characteristics, <laughs> characteristics if they want to? Well, the complete levy reports will be available on the Army Corps' new national levy database that uh, goes into effect on August 4th, and uh, we'll have a link to that website on our website, www.tv.com. That, web, that uh, link, uh, the website rather, will also have the results of the latest levy inspections. All right, Paul, thank you.